Hey guys, Hux Cards here again, and we're going to do another video for you today. Um, we're going to do a video on the 2011 Tops Updated set. Most people know this set because that's the one that uh, Mike Trout is in, his rookie card. But I wanted to show you some other cards that was in that set also. And uh, there's some other rookie cards in that set that those rookies are probably going to be Hall of Famers also, just like Mike Trout is. So uh, I want to do that. But first off, I want to also remind you that on July 9th, they're going to have a card show in Louisville, Kentucky. And I'm going to be doing that show. And that's at the Triple Crown Inn. It's a uh, convention center in Louisville, Kentucky. It's off of uh, Hirschborn Lane, but I think the the road is uh, Plant Side Drive. But I'll uh, put that in the, the comments of what the exact address on that thing is, though. So, but hopefully you guys can uh, make it out to that show. It's going to be a really good one. And uh, but uh, okay, we're going to get to that 2011 tops updated set now. And I'm going to show you some pictures of some of the cards and some of the other rookies in that set. So this 2011 Topps Updated set has 330 cards in it. And I believe there's 52 rookie cards in here. And I'm just going to show you a few of these rookie cards and who's in it. Uh, there's uh, some guys in here that's going to be some Hall of Famers other than Mike Trout. And I just think this is a really good set if you have a chance to try to put this one together. So right here, this first one has is Paul Goldsmith. And uh, I definitely believe that he's going to be a Hall of Famer. Um, Paul had, uh, well, his war is a 50. And an average uh, Hall of Famer, Baseball Hall of Famer, is war somewhere between 50 to, to 70. So... He's definitely going to be in the Hall of Fame. He definitely has a few more years left in him, um, you know, and he's, matter of fact, he's tearing it up this year. He's probably got a good chance to be MVP this year. So uh, he's definitely on track for the Hall of Fame. And um, I think he's he's a six-time All-Star, four gold gloves, four silver slugger awards. So, yeah, he definitely has the resume. Then you got Anthony Rizzo here. And uh, he's going to be close to the Hall of Fame. I don't know if he'll make it or not, but he's a three-time All-Star. But he has uh, four golden uh, gloves, so that's going to help him because of his defense. His war right now is 38.4, so he's probably going to be close to 50 by the time he retires. And uh, he's got about 272 home runs now, so he's probably definitely going to get to 300. Um then you have Jose Altuve, which uh, he's an awesome ball player. This guy has been a seven-time All-Star. He's been an MVP. His war numbers are 43.6 right now, so he's going to probably get to 60 on that. So he's probably a sure Hall of Famer. Then you have Eric Hosmer here, and he was a very solid ball player. I mean, he wasn't a, you know, a superstar a Hall of Famer, but he was – you know, very good, and there was a lot of years that, uh, you know, he played really well and helped uh, Kansas City to the World Series one year. And then uh, this is the big card out of this set. It's the Mike Trout, which obviously he's a Hall of Famer. Um, his war's 80.1, so, uh, yeah, he's got great numbers. And uh, I think right now he's got like 333 home runs, and uh, – his lifetime batting average is 304. Plus, he's been an MVP three times and Rookie of the Year. So, he's well on his way to the Hall of Fame. Hopefully, he can stay healthy and put up a lot more uh, big numbers. So, and then J.D. Martinez, which is a very solid ball player. Uh, he's been All-Star four times. He's got a, a lifetime batting average of 291. So, very solid player. Uh, he won't make the Hall of Fame, but uh, like I said, he was, he's was he been really good for a lot of teams that he's played for. Then you have uh, Mike Moustakas, which is, he was just a solid ball player. Good little rookie card. He was a three-time All-Star. And uh, Charlie Blackman, which has been solid uh, for the Rockies over the, over the years. He was a four-time All-Star. 
He's got a lifetime batting average, so 299, which is very solid in this day and age. Boy, you got to strike out so much and always trying to hit home runs. And uh, here's some action shot cards that I thought was really cool, some rookie ones. That's Brandon Crawford, which actually I was surprised at his war numbers. He's got a war number of 30.1, and uh, so that's very solid. I was I was definitely surprised um, about that. And Zach Kozar, if you're a Reds fan, that's a pretty good little action shot there. Kyle Seeger, which uh, I think he just retired here recently, but uh, that was his rookie card. And you have D. Gordon, which has got a cool uh, action shot on there. I was surprised when I was looking his numbers up. Um, he's been a two-time All-Star, Gold Glove, and Silver Slugger Award winner. So, very solid ball player. And then also in this set, they got some pretty cool uh, milestone cards. This is like Derek Jeter's uh, 3,000 hit milestone card that was in this set. So that's really nice. But yeah, so I mean, there's some uh, really good rookie cards in here. And uh, it's not too hard to collect. It's uh, especially if you already have a, a Mike Trout rookie card, it'd be really, really easy to go ahead and put the rest of them in. I mean, some of them are a little bit, of, a little pricey, like the Goldsmith and Jose Altuve. But uh, the rest of them are very reasonable to uh, put this set together. Well, guys, that's some cards from the 2011 Tops Updated set. I appreciate you joining me today and uh, letting me show off some of my cards. I, I definitely enjoy doing these and uh, showing my, some of the sets that I have and everything. And uh, I just asked you if you would subscribe to the channel and hit that like button. Uh, and uh, I'm, like I said, I'm going to keep doing this. I really enjoy it. So I'm gonna keep showing you some sets and everything. I'm probably show you some older ones too, some some vintage and stuff coming up here soon. But like I said, we have that show on July 9th, uh, and it's off a of Plant Side Drive at Triple Crown Inn in Louisville, Kentucky. I hope that you can make it out to that if you're somewhere close to this area. And uh, you know, so I appreciate y'all watching, and please subscribe, and uh, we'll see you on the next video. Thank you.